sometimes Private on questions. Joke. So as the cold weather blasts in from the north, many travelers are leaving their overcoats behind and heading to warmer climates down south in the Caribbean. And whether you're looking for some peace and quiet or just fun in the sun, we have some of the best of the Caribbean for you right now. Mark Orwell, <laughs> senior consulting editor at Travel and Leisure magazine, is here to do just that. Hello, guys. How, How are, are you, Mark? I'm well, I'm well, thank you. I'm glad to be back, as always. Uh, we're going to the Caribbean. Yeah, someplace a little warmer than up here in the Northeast. How about the Virgin yeah, Islands? Virgin to be Islands. Right. <laughs> Specifically, we're going to talk about a place to get some peace and quiet, and that would be Virgin Gorda, the easternmost of the British Virgin Islands. This is a place It's a little difficult to get to. You're going to have to take a, uh, a, a short hop on a plane or a ferry. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, island is actually given over to preserved parkland. All of that is contributing to the idea of getting away from it all. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of roads here, and those roads are not that great, so you're going to want to get a sailboat, charter a boat for a day. A resort can help you do that. You're going to go to a place called the Baths. This is a, uh, a beach with these huge boulders strewn about like a giant through a whole bunch of marbles on the beach. And then you're going to splurge and really, really pamper yourself at Little Dick's Bay, one of the greatest resorts in the British Virgin Islands, uh, founded by Lawrence Rockefeller. It's uh, one of the most beautiful bays on the island. Great place to get away wow. from it all. Virgin Gorda. How's the golf? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. A place like that, you're not thinking you're not about You're not thinking about golf. You're not going to golf. No. No. You're going to lay in the sun and relax. But. Nevis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, actually, pr pronounced Nevis. Oh, Nevis. That's right. Well, that's, uh, see, I haven't been there. That's, that's why I don't know how right. to say it. Beautiful flat uh, uh, edges for the beaches, but then it rises up to the center. Beautiful Mount Nevis, 3,200 feet, pretty. covered with, uh, with a rainforest. This is a place that you can drive on. A lot of people say take taxis because the, the, the roads are not very well posted. But you're going to go to a place. Uh, Pinney's Beach is, no, there's your golf club. Thank you. Pinney's Beach is, is, a, is a, one, of the, one of the best known beaches. But if you go far to the north, you're going to go to Paradise Beach. That's the authentic experience. Stay at the Four Seasons Resort Nevis. Some people say this is the best resort in the Caribbean. Surprisingly affordable. You can get rates for about 325 and off. Four Seasons? Yeah. Wow. yeah. Just a terrific place, beautiful wow, location on Pinney's Beach in, uh, uh, in Nevis. A, a Four Seasons in such a remote location. That's yeah. very mm -hmm, interesting right? there. With golf. Finally, to the Grenadines we go. Yes, uh, the full name is St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I always think that would be a great name for a doo-wop band. But uh, <laughs> the Grenadines <laughs> is... Or a cocktail. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Down in the <laughs> southeastern part of the Caribbean, 40 miles of uh, 30 islands that is spread across 40 miles. Some of the most beautiful islands. Mustique is there, a very high end, luxurious island. Bequia Fishing Village, Meru, which actually only got electricity in 2003. So there's a lot of different aspects to the Grenadines. This is a sailing destination, so you're going to want to charter a sailboat. Whether you're going to skipper it yourself or uh, hire a crew, you can find out more through the moorings.com. They'll rent the boat, uh, uh, help you rent the boat. Go down to the Tobago Keys. That's one of the most beautiful natural parks lands in the Caribbean, go swimming with, the, uh, with uh, the, all the sea life there, the gorgeous, gorgeous coral reefs uh, that you can go exploring. Stay at beautiful. the Cotton House, that 17-room built from an old sugar mill. Very, very beautiful. What's the best time of year to go to the Caribbean? R right now, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, right now is not a bad time at all because the rates haven't gotten to their peak right. winter And it's rate. past hurricane season. That's and, right, yeah. yes. I mean, uh, um, but they are, you are going to be getting into the high season with the highest rates. After that, think about uh, the end of March or early April when the price is going to go down, but the weather's still beautiful. Mm. There's okay. never a bad time to go the, there, in The my shoulder opinion. season, as it were. The shoulder season. Uh, yes. In fact, the shoulder season is a great rule of thumb for wherever you're going to travel. Usually the weather's going to be good, the prices are going to be great, and uh, the crowds are going to be down. Yeah, and it's a terrific alternative given the weakness of the dollar to Europe or something like I'll that. I'll tell you it's right fabulous. now, yeah, you're going to get more bang for your buck down right. in the Caribbean today than you will on the other side of the Atlantic. True. Thank, Thank you, you Mark, okay. as Welcome. always. Mark Orwell, the senior consulting editor for Travel and Leisure magazine. You can find the